The Alvars, also spelt as Alvars or Aswars Alvarkal, are R. R. Tamil, Alvarkal those immersed in God were Tamil poet saints of South India who espoused Bhakti devotion to the Hindu god Vishnu or his avatar Krishna in their songs of longing, ecstasy and service. They are venerated especially in Vaishnavism, which regards Vishnu or Krishna as the supreme being. Many modern academics place the Alvars date between 5th century to 10th century CE, however traditionally the Alvars are considered to have lived between 4200 BCE to 2700 BCE. Orthodoxy posits the number of Alvars as 10, though there are other references that include Andal and Madurakavi Alvar, making the number 12. Andal is the only female saint poet in the 12 Alvars. Together with the contemporary 63 Shaiva Nayanas, they are among the most important saints from Tamil Nadu. The devotional outpourings of Alvars, composed during the early medieval period of Tamil history, helped revive the Bhakti movement, through their hymns of worship to Vishnu and his avatars. They praised the Devya Desams, 108 abodes temples of these Vaishnava deities. The poetry of the Alvars echoes Bhakti to God through love, and in the ecstasy of such devotions they sang hundreds of songs which embodied both depth of feeling and felicity of expressions. The collection of their hymns is known as Devya Prabandha. The Bhakti literature that sprang from Alvars has contributed to the establishment and sustenance of a culture that broke away from the ritual-oriented Vedic religion and rooted itself in devotion as the only path for salvation. In addition they helped to make the Tamil religious life independent of a knowledge of Sanskrit. As part of the legacy of the Alvars, five Vaishnava philosophical traditions have developed at the later stages. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The word Aswar has traditionally been etymologized as from Tamil. Azh, al to immerse oneself as one who dives deep into the ocean of the countless attributes of God. However recently Indologist Sudalemathu Palaniappan has established from epigraphy and textual evidence that the traditional term Alvar Alvar for Vainavate Tamil poet saints has historically been a corruption of the original Alvar. It is investigated with a multifaceted approach using philology, linguistics, epigraphy, and religion. Topic: <laughs> Corruption of the original Alva, Alva to Alva. Palaniappan shows that what was originally Alva, Alva meaning one who rules or spiritual master, got changed through hypercorrection and folk etymology to Alva, Alva meaning one who is immersed. Palaniappan cites inscriptional evidence and even literary evidence from Vaishnavate tradition itself for a gradual sound change from Alva, Alva to Alva, Alva over a period of two centuries from the 9th to the 11th century involving references to religious leaders in Vainavism, Saivism and even Jainism and to political personalities. He states Alvar is but a corrupt form of Alvar which has been used interchangeably with Nayana in secular and religious contexts in the Tamil land. And Notwithstanding the Vainava claim of unbroken teacher student tradition, the fact that Nathamuni has used the form Alvar but Pilan, a disciple and younger cousin of Ramanuja, ended up using the form Alvar suggests that there has been an error in transmission somewhere along the teacher student chain between the two teachers. This error was obviously due to the influence of the sound variation that has occurred in the Srirangam area and elsewhere. The original word Alvar compares with the epithet Andal Antal for the female canonized Vaishnava saint Godai Kotai and they share the same verb Tamil, al, al the former being the honorific non-past or present future form and the latter the feminine past form of that same verb. Reception by scholars Palaniappan's findings on Alvara have been accepted by scholars like Professor Alexander Dubiansky. In his article on Antal, Dubiansky says, Antal was among the twelve Alvars, the poet saints, adepts of Vishnu, canonized by the tradition, which accepted the interpretation of the meaning of the word Alvar as submerged, plunged in love for God, from the verbal root al, to plunge, to be in the deep. 
but recently it was convincingly shown by S. Palaniapin that initially the term in question was represented by the word alvar from the verbal root al to rule, which reads as those who rule, lords, and was applied in the texts, both Saiva and Vainava, to Shiva and Vishnu accordingly pp. 66 to 70. In the course of time the term underwent the process of sound variation, took the form alvar and acquired the folk etymology which was accepted and fixed by the tradition. It is worth noting here that this interpretation agrees well with the meaning of the poetess nickname Antal, which means she who rules. Topic: <inaudible> Legacy. Alvars are considered the 12 supreme devotees of Vishnu who were instrumental in popularizing Vaishnavism in the Tamil speaking regions. The Alvars were influential in promoting the Bhagavata cult and the two Hindu epics, namely, Ramayana and Mahabharata. The religious works of these saints in Tamil, Songs of Love and Devotion, are compiled as Nalayira Devya Prabandham containing 4,000 verses and the 108 temples revered in their songs are classified as Devya Desam. The verses of the various Aswars were compiled by Nathamuni CE, a 10th century Vaishnavite theologian, who called it the Dravida Veda or Tamil Veda. The songs of Prabandham are regularly sung in all the Vishnu temples of South India daily and also during festivals. The saints had different origins and belonged to different castes. As per tradition, the first three Alvars, Poigai, Butha, and Pei, were born miraculously. Tiramijasai was the son of a sage, Thondaradi, Maturakavi, Periya, and Andal were from Brahman caste, Kula Sekara was a Kshatriya, Nam was from a cultivator family, Tirupana from Tamil Pana community, and Tiramangai from Kaswar community. Devya Suri Saritra by Garuda Vahana Pandita, 11th century, Guruparam Paraprabhavam by Pinbaragiya Peramal Gr, Periya Tirumudiya Daivu by Anbilai Kandadiapan, Yatandra Pranava Prabhavam by Palai Lokacharya, commentaries on Devya Prabandham, Guru Parampara lineage of gurus texts, temple records and inscriptions give a detailed account of the Alavars and their works. According to these texts, the saints were considered incarnations of some form of Vishnu. According to traditional account by Manavala Mamunigal, the first three Aswars namely Poigai, Boothath and Pei belonged to Dwapara Yuga before 4200 BCE. It is widely accepted by tradition and historians that the trio are the earliest among the twelve Aswars. Along with the three Saiva Nayanmas, they influenced the ruling Pallava kings, creating a Bhakti movement that resulted in changing the religious geography from Buddhism and Jainism to these two sects of Hinduism in the region. Topic Summary Some modern scholars suggest that they lived during 5th-9th century CE, on the basis of a few historical evidences, although no clear evidence exists to fit them between 5th to 9th century CE. The Encyclopedia Britannica says that Alvars lived between 7th-10th century CE. Professor of Religion and Asian Studies, James G. Lotfeld of Carthage College, notes in his The Illustrated Encyclopedia of Hinduism, the first three Alvars Poigai, Boothath and Pei belonged to the 7th century, while Namalvar and Madurakavi belonged to the 10th century, while rest of them lived in the 9th century. Traditionally the Alvars are considered to have lived between 4200 BCE to 2700 BCE. Traditional dates take them to the age of Shuka from the period of the Bhagavata Purana, many are from Dwaparayuga, while Namalwa belongs to the early part of Kaliyuga. The following table shows the place, century, and star of birth of each Alvar. Scholarly dating, except that of Kulasekara Alvar, is based on summary of views of modern scholars by Dr. N. Subaredia, although even these dates lack historical evidence. Much effort has went into dating Kulasekara Alvar recently. The Alvar is now identified as Stanu Ravi Kulasekara reigned 844—883 CE, the second known ruler of the Cheras of Makotai Kranganor c. 800—1124 CE. See also Bhakti movements Tamil mythology Nathamuni equals equals notes <laughs>